Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, we're going to take a look at how to do journal entries in Acumatica. Let's take a look at our agenda. So we're going to talk about how to enter and release a general ledger journal, or how to select transactions for release in bulk. Here I am in Acumatica. Let's go ahead and go to the general ledger module and journal transactions. The module is going to be GL and our batch number is going to be our next new batch number. We have our branch, which we can change if we're using branch processing. And we can choose our ledger. And so we're going to post to our actual ledger here. Our transaction data and our posting period, and we can put in a description of this journal entry if we wish. And I'm just going to say move expense. And then hit the plus sign to add our lines. We're going to select our GL account number, and I'm just going to randomly select an account number here near the end and enter in a sub account. Project is X for no projects. We can enter a reference number if we choose to do so, a quantity if we choose to do so, and a unit of measure. But I'm just going to go ahead and enter a debit amount of $250. And notice that the transaction description was acquired from the description on the header section of this transaction, but we can change it here. So you can type a very descriptive note here on what this transaction is. I'm just tabbing through the rest of the fields on the line and going to the second line. So once again, we'll just choose a random GL account number here, enter our sub account, and tab over to the amounts. And notice that by default, it assumes that the second line is the offsetting credit to the debit I entered on the first line. So as you enter these lines, you can change the amount. So we can do another debit here, but the default is fine in this case. And notice that the transaction description now defaulted from the description from the previous line, but you can have the descriptions be whatever you want them to be on each individual line as they post. So let's go ahead and save this transaction. So now that it's saved, we can see that it's in balance. I have my general ledger set up to automatically put these transactions on hold. So as we come in to the transaction, as it's getting created, it's putting it on hold. And this is a nice feature in Acumatica because maybe you want someone else to review the transaction before it's released and they would have to take it off hold. So let's go ahead and take it off hold and save it. And taking it off hold opens up the option to release it. So let's go ahead and release it. And everything's fine. That transaction has now been released. And you can see what the uh, batch number is so that we can call it up later from history. Here we are back on our agenda. And we've entered and released that general ledger journal. But now I'm going to show you how to release multiple transactions all at once. So if you want to do a bunch of data entry and then release them all at once instead of releasing them one at a time, you certainly can do that. Here we are back in Acumatica. I'm still in General Ledger. This time I'm going to go to the Processing tab and click on the option to release transactions. And what you will see here is a list of previously entered transactions that have not been released. And we have a couple of options here. We can select the transactions that we wish to release and then push the release button. Or we can push the release all button to release all of the transactions in the list. Therefore, we don't have to click on all of them. But let's go ahead and release this second one here. So I've just selected it and I'll push the release button. And now that transaction has been released as well. Back in our agenda, as you can see, we've now done the process of entering and releasing a GL journal, and we've talked about how to release transactions in bulk. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can find us on LinkedIn. 
you can contact us at erp at nimsassociates.com or the phone number listed there. And we appreciate you subscribing. Then you can get the latest snapshots as we develop them. Thank you very much. And we look forward to your feedback.